Hey everybody, starting on a new project today. Show you what we're working on. Right here, little five foot brush hog. Subscribers been with me a while, remember the old farm equipment buyout. Getting ready to try this out. And I'm pretty sure it'll work. Gearbox moves, you can see it down there. Maybe hopefully camera pick it up, but it turns. But we got one problem. The shaft that's on it is too long and it's inch and an eighth. It's an oddball, old school. And we put this overrun coupler, which we need that. Explain that in another video, but the shaft here I've got is inch and three eighths. And they're both six plying, but the old one's inch and an eighth, this inch and three eighths, which the inch and three eighths is your modern stuff. That's what uh, the new standard is. So what we got to do, this one's too short. I need to cut this one off back here and slide it inside this and cut this one probably, I'm probably going to cut it behind that hole and that still would leave me quite a bit and then slide it and weld it like they did here. It worked for them all in years, it worked fine for me I'm sure. So like I said we're going to cut this one down and slide it inside this one after we cut it off. I'm going to cut it off right about here. So went to was going to hook it up and try it and none of the shafts work of course nothing ever goes smooth but that's an easy fix so that's not too big of a deal so i'll roll it to the shop and i'll make a video of making the shaft so see you in a bit hey everybody we're in the shop and we're ready so what we're going to do we've got chops all set up we we'll cut them like i showed you and weld them in Got the welder over there it is absolutely windy so Hopefully it ain't affecting the noise in here. It, it's horrible, guys. But anyways, hopefully you can still hear me. But like I said, welder's right there. Don't mind the mess. Been knocking out projects. So stay tuned for those videos. But let's get started on this. Set the camera up. And away we go. Hopefully. guys got a cut and of course nothing ever goes easy around here so I got to do it a little different uh, it was a lot shorter inside than I thought so I cut that longer than I was going to and I got that cut so I gotta go find a piece of pipe this size or a hair bigger to slide over both of them too so got to do it a little different but not the end of the world so I'll be back, I'll go dig in the scrap pile, find some pipe, and then when I do, I'll come back and do the welding and hopefully it'll work. So, see you in a bit.
Oh, all right, we got her done. I'll let that cool off a little bit, knock the slag off. Got her welded all the way around. So, I'll, uh, I got lucky. That one pipe I cut, it had just enough, and I went up there and checked it, and it was just long enough. Everything worked out good, so I ended up being able to salvage it. So, I put it in, welded it, and we're good. As I said, I'm going to let this cool off, because i got to handle it. And then uh, we'll come back in a little bit and put it on, and I'll show you the finished product. So, when that cools off, I'll come back and... Uh, We'll uh, finish up this video and we'll put it on the tractor and show you what it looks like. So, see you in a bit. Hey everybody, we're back and we're done. Got her on there. Don't look too bad now, does it? So, we got it in. I got my PTO pin set in there. And I know some people are going to wonder if this is going to be, you know, if it went in straight and it wasn't going to wobble. It was so tight getting in there, I had to beat them in with a hammer inside the pipe. So, I mean, it was an absolute perfect fit. So, that's why I just threw it on the ground and welded it. Normally, you'll set these in a piece of angle iron where your V's go on both sides and it sits in the middle when you make a shaft. But I wasn't too worried about that today on this. So, I knew it was going to be perfectly straight. And then, I know it will be because, like I said, it, I mean, it rubbed, the, the inner shaft rubbed the outside of the pipe. This outside pipe, when I went in it, it was so tight. I mean, it was just a perfect fit, so I wasn't worried about it. And I know someone's probably going to freak out on the video. Oh, my God, you didn't wear gloves or, you know, get all decked out with the welding gear. Normally, if I do a lot of welding, I will. But I wasn't going to spend 15 minutes digging out all that stuff for a five-minute job. So, easy keyboard warriors, don't freak out on me. Okay? So, but anyway, this is good. And... I guess this is going to be it for today. I'm going to take this out here in a day or two and try this out and test the brush hog. So, which I'm sure it'll work. You can see it's spinning away. And there's plenty of shaft up. The inner shaft comes up to like roughly right in here. It was right here was the end of it. So, there's plenty in there. So, it's all good. And little Alice C's got a brush hog because this is the only thing it'll probably go behind because this don't have three point. It's five foot. And, you know, it's the only, I've got three points on my other equipment and stuff. So, like I said, the pull type fits this. So, I guess that's it. And we filled the gearbox up. Made a mess, of course. But that's typical of me. <laughs> so, we're done. So, I guess that's it for this video, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.